It's time for person, place, or thing. Our first player is Mark, and his favorite person is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Our second player is Danielle, and her favorite place is home of the Golden Girls, Miami, Florida. And our third player is Kyle, and his favorite thing is his PS5. And now, because Fox only goes out to the very best talent, our host, Melissa Peterman. And when they said no, they called me. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, where great questions and a sharp mind can send you home with cash and prizes. And joining me today, I have three very sharp minds who are here to battle it out for a shot to win our grand prize of $5,000. <laughs> Back again for her fifth consecutive day, it's our returning champion, Danielle, who has already won $5,000 and three amazing hotel stays. Let's see if she can make it back into that final round and add another $5,000 to her winnings, or if Mark and Kyle start a winning streak of their own. Let's get started. It's time for round one. We're gonna play each category in this round, a person, a place, and a thing. You can ask me yes or no questions, and I'll be giving you clues. Let's get going. Hey, Danielle, welcome back. Thank you. You finally did it. You got the $5,000. It felt good. It felt real good, I bet. Yes, finally. Well, let's get started, Danielle. Okay, we're gonna start off this round with our person category. And I can tell you this person is a musician. Okay, musician. Is this person a woman? No, mm -mm, not. Hey, Mark. Hello. Welcome, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, um, uh, we're talking about a musician right now. This musician is not a woman, and I'm open for any question you got. Is he alive? No. no. Mm -mm. Hi, Kyle. Hi. How are you? Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing. Thank you for having me. I'm very happy to have you. And you, you love the PS5? Yes, I do. Are you a big gamer? Hell yes, I am. All right. Well, right now we're going to play this game. And I can tell you our, this category is a musician category. And we know that not alive and not a woman. Is this musician won a Grammy? No, they have not. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. Remember, if you buzz in and you're right, you got 100 points. If you are wrong, you're out until I give another clue. Rami Malek won an Oscar for portraying him. Danielle? Is it Freddie Mercury? It is Freddie Mercury. Okay, 100 points to you, well done. Mark, you're gonna start off our next category. This category is our place category and I can let you all know that this place is a landmark. Is this place in the United States? Yes. Yes. This place is in the United States. Kyle. Is this landmark in the West Coast? Not in the West Coast. Danielle. Is this landmark a statue? No, not a statue, okay? Time for a clue, get your buzzers out. This landmark is dedicated to one of the founding fathers of the US. Danielle? Is it the Washington Monument? It is not the Washington Monument. That means you're out until I give another clue. Mark, dedicated to one of the founding fathers. Is it a building? Yes. Mm hmm. Kyle, you look like you were trying to buzz in there. Do you got a guess for me? It is the, the Abraham Lincoln Memorial? Um, no, it is not. Okay, that means you're out. But it's t time for another clue. So come on back in, everybody. <laughs> Jump back in. It is a domed structure. It's surrounded by cherry trees. Danielle, the Capitol building? It is not the Capitol building, which means you're out again until I give another clue. Mark. Does, does it start with a letter between A and L? Yes. Mm-hmm, it does. Kyle. Is this landmark is in the Washington DC area? It is. Okay, you're back in it now, Danielle. Time for your third and final clue about this place. It is located on the edge of the Tidal Basin in Washington, D.C. Mark. White House? 
It is not the White House. We were looking for the Jefferson Memorial. Jefferson Memorial, dedicated to one of the founding fathers. Okay, nobody got that one. No points for anyone. And Kyle, you're gonna kick off this last category in this round. This is our thing category, and I can tell you that this thing, it's a movie. Was well, this movie nominated for an Academy Award? Yes. Mm hmm Ooh. Nominated for an Academy Award. Danielle. Did this movie get released in theaters after 2020? No. Okay. Mm -mm. Mark. Is this superhero movie? Nope, not a superhero movie. Mm -mm. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out, here we go. This 1999 cyberpunk action film kicked off a popular sci-fi franchise. Danielle. Is it The Matrix? It is <laughs> The Matrix! Oh, as soon as I said it. We know our Keanu Reeves movies, but none of our founding fathers. <laughs> Great round, everyone. Don't go anywhere. Danielle is in the lead with 200 points. Kyle Mark not on the board yet. But more great questions, even greater clues. When we're back, don't go anywhere. Person, place, or thing. Do you want to learn more about our show and meet today's super fan? Use your smartphone to scan the QR code at the corner of your screen, and you'll not only meet today's super fan, Teresa, but you're going to get access to behind the scenes fun and bonus content. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. She's always banging on about how we're all just living in the Matrix. It's Melissa Peterman. We are, Jamie. None of this is real. We have a great game here, Danielle, in the lead with 200 points. Mark and Kyle not on the board yet, but there's a lot of game left to play, and let's start playing it. Round two coming up. We play this second round the same as our first round, except we're going to double the points, and you get to choose what category we're playing. Mark, you're going to start us off. What category would you like to play? Person, place, or thing? Oh, uh, big thing. Thing. I can tell you that this thing is food. Uh... Is this you can have it for breakfast? I mean, I would say no. It's not a typical mm -hmm. something for breakfast. Okay. Okay. Kyle, food, not a typical breakfast food. Is it Mexican? Nope. Mm -mm. Not Mexican cuisine? Danielle, is this a dessert? No, not considered a dessert either. Get your buzzers out, time for a clue. Remember, these are not worth 200 points. This food is often served with garlic bread. Kyle? Is it spaghetti? It is spaghetti! Great job, 200 points to you. Okay, Kyle, your turn. What do you want to play, person, place, or thing? I choose person. Person, okay. Kyle, I can tell you that this person is an actor, okay? Is this actor under the age of 50? Yes, under the age of 50. Mm. Danielle. Is this a primarily comedic actor? No, not primarily comedic, mm -mm. no. Mark. Has this actor ever wanted like uh, an Academy Award? No, they have not. Time for a clue, get your buzzers out, here we go. This person was cast in an iconic movie role at the age of 10. All right, Kyle, back to you. Cast in an iconic role at the age of 10. Is this actor a man? Not a man. Okay. Danielle. I think I want to take a shot at it. Do you want to? Okay. Is it Emma Watson? Oh! It is Emma Watson, who is just 10 years old. I think when she was cast as Hermione Granger in Harry Potter. Great job. All right, 200 points to you. Well done, well done. And last but not least, you're going to pick our category. I'm going to do person again. Person again. This person is a singer. A singer, okay. Is this a woman? Yes, yes, yes. Mark. Is she an American singer? Yes. yes. Mm hmm. Kyle. Uh, has she won a Grammy? 
Yes. Won a Grammy. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. This singer was nicknamed the First Lady of Song. Mm -hmm. Okay, did not help, Danielle. Is this singer a person of color? Yes. Mark. I'll take a guess. I'm okay, not sure. take a guess. Rihanna? Rihanna? Mm -hmm. No, nope, it is not Rihanna. Kyle. Mm. I'll take a guess too. Do it. Jennifer Hudson. Not Jennifer Hudson. Time for another clue. She was the first black woman to win a Grammy. Danielle? Is it Aretha Franklin? Nope, it is not Aretha Franklin, which means you're out until I give another clue. Mark. Black. Does her name start between A and F? Yes, it does. Starts between A and F. First Lady of Song, Kyle. Has she uh, been in a movie? Yes, Kyle, she has been in a movie. Oh. Okay, no question this round for you, but it's time for a clue, so buzz her out. Here we go. Her most streamed song on Spotify is Dream a Little Dream of Me. Kyle. Uh, is it... Oh, dang. <laughs> Well, it wasn't that. Uh, I think you guys are all gonna know when I say uh, she was a first lady of song, Ella Fitzgerald. Oh. Oh. Ella Fitzgerald. It with e. <laughs> you got it. I mean, Mark, I think you were narrowing in, but you were right. It was right there on e. Like, e. Great job, everybody. No points on that one, but we've got ourselves a great game here. Danielle in the lead with 400 points. Kyle right behind with 200. Mark not on the board yet, but up next we speed things up and see who's going to walk away a winner on person, place, or thing. Ella Fitzgerald in love. Welcome back to person, place, or thing, where we've just honestly never really liked Thomas Jefferson. Speak for yourself, Jamie. Great game here. Danielle has 400 points. Kyle right behind at 200. Mark is not on the board yet, but this is a round where things could get all turned around. So get your buzzers out. It's time for our speed round. Yeah. I'm going to read you a series of clues about a person, a place, or a thing. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. If you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you're out, but just until the next category, okay? Are we ready? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, all right. <laughs> Jamie, put 90 seconds on the clock, please. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Time starts now. This fictional character was turned into a vampire in night. Danielle. Dracula? No. He belongs to a family of vegetarian vampires who subsist on animal blood. His. Kyle. Um, um okay. Uh, Jacob. Nope. His skin sparkles in the sun. His love interest in the Twilight series is Bella Swan. Mark? Nope, Edward Cullen, close. Oh. This is a type of digital money created using encryption. Tra Danielle. Bitcoin? No, transactions of these are recorded on public ledgers called blockchains. These tokens are traded on platforms like Coinbase and Robinhood. Kyle. Uh, crypto. Yes, this government agency was created in the 1950s. One of its field centers is located in Houston, Texas. It has been depicted in films Apollo 13 and Hidden Figure. Kyle. NASA. Yes, this thing is a fruit. It grows on a vine. An alcohol. Great. Danielle. Great. Yes, this athlete once hit an MLB home run and scored an NFL touchdown in the same week. This two sport superstar is nicknamed Prime Time. He won two Super Bowls and played in a World Series. He's a the current head football coach at the University of Colorado Boulder. Anyone? Deion Sanders. This family magazine debuted in 1922. Each issue originally contained 31 articles, one for each day of the month. It was once the highest circulating general interest magazine in the U.S. It is known for... Oh my gosh. Okay, Danielle, you did buzz in in time. What's your answer? Is it... Time, people. 
sorry. We were looking for Reader's Digest. So guess what? There is a new champ in town. Kyle, you are moving on to play our final round. Danielle, Mark, we loved having you. We're not gonna send you home empty-handed. So Jamie, tell them what they've won. Make every day a Taco Tuesday with a cook set from Nostalgia. Create your favorite dishes like quesadillas, tacos, margaritas, and more. Taco Tuesday delivers high quality, bright and colorful appliances to make your kitchen vibrant and fun. All right, great job. Thanks again, Danielle. Thank you, Mark, and congrats, Kyle. You are moving on to play for $5,000 in our final round, sponsored by Slotomania. Jamie, tell them about it. Promotional consideration provided by Slotomania, the number one free slots game. Download Slotomania now and get one million free coins. Stick around to see if Kyle's gonna win $5,000. We'll be back right after this. Thanks, Danielle! Great job! Five days! Well, now it's your turn to play. Scan the QR code to win this amazing prize. Wyndham Grand Rio Mar Golf and Beach Resort, Puerto Rico, nestled on a secluded beach with spectacular golf courses. WyndhamRewards.com, the world's number one hotel rewards program. Good luck. Welcome back to the final round of Person, Place, or Thing. Yeah. I'm standing here with Kyle, who's about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Slotomania. Jamie, tell him about it. Slotomania, the number one free-to-play slots game in the world. With millions of players and non-stop fun and excitement, scan the QR code to download Slotomania now and find out what will today spin. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Kyle, here's what you got to do to win that $5,000. You have to correctly identify a person, a place, and a thing in 60 seconds. You can start with any category that you want. Ask me as many yes or no questions as you need to. Guess as many times as you'd like. And Kyle, I've got three clues for you, okay? You correctly identify your person, your place, and your thing, and you're gonna go home with $5,000, and we're gonna give our super fan Teresa $500. Are you ready, Kyle? Yes, I am. Your person is a TV personality. Your place is a tourist attraction, and your thing is a game. Where would you like to start? I would definitely would start with game. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. Come on, Kyle, you need this money for when the inevitable PS5 Pro comes out. Oh, yes. You do, you do. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Good luck to you. We're starting with your thing category, which is a game, and your time starts now. Uh, can this game be on a TV? No. Can you play it with your hands? Yes. Oh, uh, clue. This board game features a red light bulb. So, is, it, is it sorry? No. Nope. Is it trouble? No. Nope. Is it, uh, 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 okay, uh, skip it. Okay, person is a TV personality. Uh, is he on, is he on, um, on the, is he a morning show? No. Uh, clue. This former TV talk show host got his start writing for Saturday Night Live and The Simpsons. Uh, skip it. Okay. Place is a tourist attraction. Uh, is it west? Uh, is it in the west coast? Uh, no. In the east coast? Uh, no. Okay. Is it in... Clue. This 13-block stretch in New Orleans is known for its many jazz bars. Oh, the jazz of... Uh, it's a complete... Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Kyle, no shame in the game, my friend. First time in the final round. Here we go. So we were looking for the game. Operation? Operation, Operation, right. Operation. Oh. Okay, we were looking for Conan O'Brien, oh. who is a TV host. He got started writing for SNL and The Simpsons. And this 13-block stretch in New Orleans is Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. But you know what, Kyle? It's all good because you know what is going to happen? You're going to come back to play for another shot at $5,000 as our returning champion. And Teresa, thank you for being today's super fan. And remember, people, we love it when you come to this place and help us do this thing. Goodbye, everybody. Say goodbye, Kyle. You're coming back. You're still watching? Oh my God, thank you. Well, in that case, be sure to stay up to date with Person, Place, or Thing by smashing that subscribe button. There's full episodes, behind the scenes content, and even a few surprises, and they're just a click away. You can go now.